We often brag about how you can customize our products with your own functionality. And um, apart from changing things in the software you upload to the units, you also need to change the label on the buttons. And it's a really simple thing to do. So using a regular Swiss knife like this one, uh, you take one of the blades and uh, because if you're a bit paranoid like us, you uh, use a little bit of, of tape on the tip just to protect the nice aluminum surface. So it's just doing like this and maybe to protect your own finger. You know, this happened in, in take one of this video. So uh, you take it down here and gently you can lift off the caps of these buttons like that and, and take them out. Um, so now you can see the LED down there. I'll just take this one back. Uh, Click, clicks right into place. It's really delicate, nice work done by the Japanese guys behind the switches. And um, then I like to take the small blade and um, using this, I take apart the transparent front of the cab from the back side of the cab. And if you have long girlish fingernails, you might be able to do it even without a knife. Okay, so now these are separate and what you find inside here is actually just a small transparency. I don't know if this is clear to you on the video, but you can see it's uh, cut out here. It's uh, 13 times 13 millimeters. So this is what is placed inside the cap. Just a moment. Okay, U1 and then it goes back into place like that. Now, how do you print these? Well, we just use regular transparencies you can put into any laser printer. And um, then we have prepared some sheets. You can see I have all sorts of, of uh, remaining um, labels from such operations floating around in this little um, uh, folder. But if you go to our um, GitHub repository for our engineering efforts. I'll just show you, you can download a template, but if you go to our website, to the wiki, you should be able to find a link. There's the link to Skorhoi GitHub repository, open engineering. Um, you find it right there. And inside this folder, you find under various, then under LP11 button labels, various suggestions. Let's take a look at one of these, like this. We download this PDF file and it opens looking like this. So here we have um, labels for, uh, obviously for buttons with the uh, input sources, selection of labels you can, you can choose from uh, and print yourself. Mm -hmm.